Today, let's talk about fidget spinners. U-joints and replacing them. So this is the uh, double cardon front drive shaft from a V8WJ that I am hoping to put into my TAN WJ that I was diagnosing death wobble on last time. Uh, when I got the Verilock axles this winter, I pulled this from the donor vehicle. And the reason is that this is what it came with stock. This is a Zipa joint. Um, I guess they have benefits. I think they're supposed to be smoother and maybe last longer if you keep your Jeep stock. Uh, the problem is as soon as you lift it, the angles um, and the angle gets larger on this thing, these things go straight to hell. Um, also, they're expensive and difficult to fix. I think a rebuild kit's like 100, 120 bucks for them. And uh, it's just not worth it. So if you have a WJ or any other vehicle that has a Rezipa joint and you have an option to switch out for even, even fixed yoke, um, even if it's not double cardone, though double cardone is much better, uh, I would take it. Um, they're easier to fix, they're smoother, and they handle um, stress way better. If you tow with your vehicle, if you're off-road a lot with your vehicle, um, I would definitely recommend ditching Rezipa and uh, going to U-joints. This was uh, pretty much completely screwed. The, the grease inside was dirty and smells burnt. One of these caps um, was stuck in the yoke on the other Jeep. So what I'm going to be doing today is replacing this U-joint. Let's get into it. All right, the first thing you do when you get your, uh, your drive shaft out of your vehicle is go ahead and throw it in a vise. And what I like to do is to hit it with a little bit of penetrating oil. If you can afford to have the vehicle off the road, for a night or two, go ahead and hit it a day before. Uh, just go ahead and soak the inside of that cap right there. Flip it over, hit the other one. These things come out a lot easier if they can soak overnight. Let's take a second to talk about tools of the trade for pulling out U-joints. Uh, there are lots of ways to do it. Lots of people have different opinions, but in general, most people use a vise and a few sockets. First thing you're going to need is a socket that fits the outside of this yoke circle. Okay? The idea is we're going to hammer this U joint out, and this cap is going to go, this cap is going to go into this socket like that. Okay? But this is going to support the yoke. The next socket you want is a socket that is just barely smaller than the size of that U-joint uh, bearing cap so that it will fit inside that circle. Personally, I always use the same two. I think this is an inch and an eighth, and this is a nine and sixteenths. Three quarters, sorry, this is a three quarter. The next thing you're gonna need, a BFH, a big freaking hammer. I recommend it. Uh, you're gonna wanna have some vice grips. Um, you can probably do it without. Don't try, it'd be miserable. Get yourself some vice grips. Uh, you may also want a pair of needle nose, a uh, flathead screwdriver, and I'll get to that later. Uh, here's a tool I made, and it works perfect for this. It's actually a uh, half inch extension that broke, and uh, it makes a great punch. Okay, so let's move back over here. All right, the first thing you gotta do is uh, remove these clips here, right? Um, Sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes you do not. These look like they're not too bad. Sometimes they are really stuck in there. But what it helps to do is what that flat screwdriver comes in handy for. Maybe pry it open, and then try to get a screwdriver behind there. And, uh... You're just trying to work this out. Now, you, your U joints have inevitably been in there. Oop, never mind. Uh, you see, yep, <laughs> it was stuck and then it just popped right out. All right, so I'm working on the other side here 
and uh, it's a little bit more stubborn than the first one. What we're going to try to do is pry this side up. I think I'm going to have to take the hammer to this guy. Let's see. I think that did it. Yep. Got that one out without sending it flying. All right, now the next step, lots of people like to do in the vise. What they do is they get this socket on the bottom, they get this socket in the top, then they put it in the vise this way, and they slowly tighten it until it pops. I have not had a lot of success with that method. Uh, what I like to do is, uh, I like to get it on the floor, just beat it with the hammer. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, for the next part, I like to get the, uh, the whole drive shaft down on the ground. And what you do is you take your socket that is bigger, that is the size of the yoke, put that underneath. Then you take your other socket. For me, it's the uh, three quarter. You get that guy right on top like that. And you essentially take your hammer, make sure everything is lined up properly, and you just try to knock or break those, those bearing caps loose. It's really important to make sure everything's lined up. You don't want to break your yoke. That'll really ruin your day. Ready? Wow. We got real lucky on this one. All right. I don't know if you can see what we did there, but uh, we hit it on this side and it uh, pushed the whole U-joint out this way and this bearing cap right here is starting to come off. What I'm gonna do now is set it up like that again, hit it a couple more times until we bottom out right here and uh, then we're gonna take our vice grips, we're gonna pop this cap off and then we'll be halfway done with this job. All right, here we go. Okay, now uh, if you can see, this side is actually completely free, and this side, oh, it'll actually come right off. That's a pretty good sign. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna flip this guy over on the ground. See, now we have to pound the other side out. Let's make sure it's lined up, and it's actually sticking above the yoke, so the first hit will just, like that. And it looks as though we did. We got it in right. Now, you can either use your uh, socket still, or you can go ahead and use a bearing cap, because you know what? It's the exact right size for the job. Put that guy right there. Okay. There we go. Oh, break that guy off. Let's see, uh, this guy's sticking out the other side. now. Nine times out of ten, you're gonna need a vice grip to pull that off, but this one was really loose. And then, here is your old, uh, your old fidget spinner, your old U-joint. All right, so uh, here is our old U-joint. Came off a lot easier than I've seen them. Uh, I don't know if you can see all the needle bearings are kind of broken and sitting in there. And here is our new U-joint. And um, the first thing we need to do is to remove all of these caps. And we need to do it as carefully as possible. Because, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's all these little needle bearings that run on the inside of the bearing cap. And the only thing that is holding them in is grease. Uh, and if they fall out, you have one of two choices. You can try to put them all back with like a small screwdriver, or you can go and get a new U-joint uh, because uh, the cap will not work without those needle bearings. So the first thing we do is we carefully take off each of these caps and we put them aside. Okay. Now 
Now at this stage, we also need to be careful. This is all greased all along here. We don't want to get that dirty and risk ruining the new U-joint either. So they usually come in a piece of paper like this. I like to keep it around. Place that there. I'm going to get rid of this guy so we don't get confused. All right, at this point, I like to take a little wire brush and uh, clean out the yoke a little bit. Make sure that uh, any rust that built up between the old bearing cap and the yoke is out. You want to make sure that uh, any old grease is out of there. And you want to try to get the groove that runs along the outside, which is where your uh, new clips are going to go. And those clips are kind of what keep everything together. All right, so once you've done that, clean the whole thing out. And then we are ready for our new bearing. And take your U joint, carefully place it inside. Take your bearing caps. Now again, remember, the entire time you're doing this, you need to be mindful of those needle bearings. Put the first one on, then slowly insert the U-joint so that you're sure. The only time those needle bearings are safe is when the U-joint is fully inserted into it. Because uh, this right here is what holds those needle bearings in. So you take the two you need, place them on the end, and you get your U-joint as close to the middle as possible so that it can guide both sides. Okay? And take it back into the vise, get it dead in the middle of the vise. You want to line it up. And you want to slowly ping as much attention as you can to how they're getting pressed in. Slowly start to Bring these together. All right. There we go. Now, those are as far as they will go on their own. So now what we do is we line up our trusty three-quarter from before and we push them in now what we're doing is we're pushing it further than it needs to go so that we can get the the new C-clips in all right your, your new U-joint is gonna come with four of these guys uh, we only need two I like to save them uh, I've got a drawer full of them. I keep a couple extras. You never know. So what we've done is we've pushed this side in further than it needs to go. There's a, a ring, uh, a ridge in there that, uh, that this fits into. We've pushed it past that to make it easier to get these in. So what you do is you take a needle nose, you take your clip, and you slowly work it in. Okay. There we go. And to make sure it's set, sometimes I will take that same three quarter, put it on, one good wrap. Actually, I heard it click before I even hit it. Now that is clicked into there. All right, now what we do, we've got this side. It needs to get pushed back to get the other ring in. Now you're just gonna crank this until it reaches a natural stopping point. And that natural stopping point is the, uh, the other clip which is now in now take another clip take a needle nose again and we are in just like before a couple quick taps yep all right what you now have is a uh, Brand new U-joint. All right, there it is. Pretty simple maintenance that tons of people ignore. What did it take about 20 minutes, even with filming? Put a new U-joint in. Uh, that's peace of mind out on the trail. 
and uh, even just for a daily driver, it's a good idea. I highly recommend you change your friggin' U joints. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think of the video, my process. I'll see you next time.